Well, Scarlet and Violet are here. Look at that terrestrialized Gyarados. Shout out to Dan from Sanctuary for uh, selling me this. I'm going to pick one of these packs and hunt every single Pokemon in the pack as a shiny. Also, we're gonna have the silver borders now instead of the, uh, the yellow borders on the cards. It's gonna be kind of crazy to see that in the English set. It's probably gonna be a little bit jarring at first. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so nuts. It's like I'm opening a Japanese pack now. My first card of Scarlet and Violet is a Mankey. We have Squawka William. Capsicid. Look at that Alamomola. That's just a common too, that looks so good. Mabostiff. That's definitely not Arvin's Mabostiff. Oink alone. Spiritomb. I've hunted that before. I don't know if this is gonna be the pack then. We have a reverse Toxel, and look at that new reverse pattern. It's almost like a sidewalk in like Italy or something. Ponyard reverse, we have two reverses. And our first rare is a Miraidon Hollow. I saw like the silver down there and I instantly thought I was an ultra rare. Dude, how do I do this every time? Look at this. I have perfectly peeled off this clear plastic layer. I'm gonna go through the whole pack like this. This is nuts. It's like I'm boundary breaking it right now. I'm, I'm out of bounds right now in this pack. It feels so weird and sticky. All right, so it looks like we'll just one from the back for the energy. Uh, there's your next code card. Lightning energy. Interesting not doing four from the back anymore. I wonder if I'm gonna catch myself doing that. This pack starts with Mareep, Silicobra, Bisharp. That'd be a cool one to hunt. Riolu. I'm liking this pack so far. I can't hunt a Team Star Grunt, but that's okay. Trainer cards don't count. Zangoose is cool. Youngster. Reverse Silicobra. So we got two in that pack. Oh, our first art card. We got Wiglet. Dude, this looks amazing, actually. I love the pattern. The pattern really stands out here on this. Like, this really looks like it's like underwater in the ocean with the way that this is designed. This is beautiful. So we're seeing it fully elongated though. <laughs> and we got a Don Dozo Hollow with a little Tatsugiri in its mouth. I'm pretty sure this was my phone background for a little while. Next pack. All right, so we got Smoliv. We got Primeape. Palmy. <laughs> Touching his cheese, getting that electricity. A freezing Tarantula. A not freezing Torkoal. Breloom, using its weird claw-like piranha plant hand. Oh, spoilers. Oh no, Kilowattrel. I really hope we get a card of it like puffing out its uh, its chest, like the actual frigate birds it's based off of do. We have a nice little reverse Grievard, reverse Pachirisu. These reverses are great. And we got an Ndidi Hollow. I think we really do get like at least a Hollow in every pack now, which is so cool. The era of the regular rare seems to be over. All right, next pack, let's do this right. Two from the back. First code card. Um, one from the back now. Fire energy. I wonder if there are any rare energies we could get in that slot instead. Got a nice uh, Magnemite in the windmills. Don Quixote would be proud. We got Tarantula. A different Tarantula, actually. The Pokemon Catcher. I feel like they've used that art before. Clauncher. Team Star. Ooh, Lucario. It's nice, like, seeing the uncommons this deep in the pack, too. I'm so used to seeing them at the beginning with the old card trick I was doing. Oh, that's a cool-looking Charcadet reverse. S. Pathro reverse. That's an uncommon. And a Houndstone Hollow with last respects. What a busted move in the games. All right, we got an Leaf. Oh, yeah, no more card trick. All right, Go-Go. Wake me up before you go-go. Scatterbug. It's a nice uh, shot, but I like the colors on that. Sprigatito. Oh, that's a cute Flaffy. Taking a little nap. Really colorful Blissey. This would definitely be an, a regular rare in uh, most eras. Tatsugiri looking very judgmental. We have a Krogunk. Reverse Wug Trio. That's a really neat uncommon. And an Oink Alone EX. My first EX, and it's uh, the Fancy Pig. Dude, look at that sparkle effect here. It's really neat, but it's gonna take a while for me to get used to it. It almost reminds me of what they used to put on like the bootleg cards 
that you might accidentally get if you paid for one too cheap on eBay. I like this way more than the V uh, pattern we had. The V pattern was so bland, but the sparkles really add so much to this. Oh my gosh, I did it again. I pulled off the cell membrane. We'll see how many times I do that in this box. It's gonna be an absurd number, I bet. The packs do feel a little bit different. Or maybe my hands are just handling them different because I'm so excited for the Scarlet and Violet cards. There's a Riolu mid-step. We got uh, Magneton. Klawitzer with the Pokemon Center nearby. It knows what it's going to do. It's going to Aqua Cannon you for 160 damage, but it's no, it knows you'll be fine because the Pokemon Center is just a few steps away. That's a spot to pick a fight. Um, anyway, Grievard. Greedent. Stealing stuff from Mesa Goza right there. We have a really chill Crocodile right here. That's just having a good time. Comfy in the desert sun at night. Flamigo. This looks like some sort of coordinated dance class. They all nosedive you all at once. We have a reverse Flittle, reverse Sprigatito, and a King Gambit Hollow. Man, this really is a real Pokemon, isn't it? Bisharp really does evolve now, doesn't it? I think the cards that everyone's going for are like the gold cards. There's like an alternate Art Miriam somewhere in the mix or something. Oh yeah, no card trick. Um, I'm just in it for the ride, honestly. I don't really have a chase card. Got Drifloon. I hear Drifloon's cry in my head sometimes, like <laughs> that was the worst imitation of it. Varum. I hope it has slow start. I desperately want to like try and make a slow start Varum work. There's Jacques, a trainer. Just now noticing how different the whole trainer card layout is now. It looks kind of like metallic and technological. We got Florigato. Experience share. Always turned on. Can't turn it off. We have that King Gambit. We have our first rare reverse, I believe, unless I've just not been paying attention. That's very cool. We have a Riolu reverse and a full art Miriam. Hey, this isn't the alternate art I was talking about, but um, I'll gladly take this one too. This is great. The greatest school nurse. I'm really crossing my fingers though when we get the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, especially the second one that takes us to a different school. We see like more teacher, student, like conversations and stuff. Like it'd be such a shame to just have all of our current professors and like our friends like Penny, Arvin, Nimona not be a part of that, you know? I hope they, they return again. This mastiff looks insane. Oh, uh, Ponyard. Wiglet. Toad School, the guy. That's some great art for it too. That is fantastic. Good for Toad School. Fortress, Rocky Helmet, hey, ouch. Love that Mabostiff. Stone Journer, a clay one. That's so good. I love Stone Journer. Reverse Drifloon, Coridon. It's the guy, it's it's the lizard man. All right, next pack, we got Metal Energy, you code. I keep trying to pull something from the back and then I, I stop myself. All right, Magikarp, Magikarp jump, that's a game. <laughs> Wow, this, this Magikarp and Magnemite must be done by the same person. I love this art style. There's so much depth. Like, the backgrounds are fantastic. These are such good commons. Those are the kinds of commons that I would, like, spend hours st staring at as a kid. Oh, we got the Stone Journer in non-reverse now. Penny. Medicham. Reverse Switch. That's a card that's always going to be relevant. I like how the reverse trainers have, like, the little Pokeballs there. Works really well with this card, too. Reverse Drowsy. And a Slowbro. Wow, this is a great holo, man. This is genuinely a good one right here. I haven't been paying too much attention, but I think all the code cards are uniform, too, which is also nice. I personally don't like being spoiled on what's in my pack by just looking at the color of the code card. We have Sandile in the fetal position. It appears. I don't know if it's underground or what. <laughs> Houndoom? Definitely not in the fetal position. We have Fido in the, the fetal position. Scatterbug. Can't really think of positions to come up with the, for those. Ultra Ball. Spirit Tombi. Reverse Lucario. Reverse Dedene. Got some crumbs on its mouth, or maybe that's just berry juice. 
and a Houndstone Hollow again. Duping up already. Yeah, still got this Black Border. Upside down code card to keep you on your toes. Basic energy. I'm just gonna keep flipping those until like uh, one of them's different. Might take a few sets for that to happen. Palm Mo. We got another Toad School. Look at that, it's just trucking along. <laughs> Toad School is like just, Toad School fans are eating well this set. That's awesome. We got a Rotom, Rotomus, Chansey, Espathra, Ultra Ball, oops. Arvin, there he is, the guy. Reverse Flabebe, Reverse Wiglet, and a Quackwavol. I still don't know how to pronounce this Pokemon. I've never been one to ever like even consider weighing packs and stuff, but with this new loadout system, I'm wondering uh, if they're all gonna be uniform weight or not, since everything's gonna have a hollow in it. Anyway, we got Dolive. There's a really nice like uh, trainer or like I guess special art. I don't know what to call it. Gallery card, Dolive in this set. Be a cool one to pull. Set Titan. There's so many crazy uncommons. These fully evolved Pokemon, Blissey. Reverse Capsicit, Reverse Starly, and um, what we got here? We got another EX right here. We got a Spidops. I almost called that a GX. I'm still so not used to it being EX anymore. It's kind of got that whole 6th gen EX thing going on too where part of the card is like 3D popping out, really shooting its thread at me. It feels like you're there. Bazoom. And basic metal. I should start guessing the energies. Rare candy, my favorite kind of candy. Uh, I was reading an interview today where I believe one of the game designers said that the rare candy um, is designed to not taste very good for humans. It's like eating dog food. Really cool character in there. Mesa Goza, a nice city. Heracross, all stanced up. Reverse Squawka William. Reverse Cloth, which is a rare. The reverse rares are pretty cool too because like every reverse rare you get is something that's normally hollow. So you won't normally get to see its art like without the hollow contrast there. <laughs> like right there. <laughs> Look at that. We got uh, both variants of this cloth. As you see on the one on the left, the uh, background's a lot darker. Yeah, all the code cards seem to be pretty uniform. Electric, I, I totally didn't guess there. I'll guess next time, maybe. Little schmish. What is it shooting out there? Is that poison powder? I don't, I can't think of a good red grass type move like that. Youngster, Jacques, Florgato, reverse candy. We got the Ralts. Very nice. This is part of a really cool series that tells a whole like life story here. And this is the first one, Ralts, they're, they're moving in. I can't get over the pattern here. It's so crazy to look at. It's kind of distracting almost, just looking at all the art on the card, but I still really dig that. Oh, and it also looks like we have, uh, it's 211 out of 198. So this technically counts in, as like a secret rare. I'm wondering if we're starting to adapt like the Japanese set um, Descriptions of that. Oh, 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 and right afterwards, my first EX full art, Coridon. Honestly, this is pretty standard. This looks almost exactly like the other like uh, full arts we've had for the past few generations. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like just a popping background, crazy textured card. Can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna guess fighting type energy. Hit me with it, hit me with the fist. Leaf. All right, Flittle. <laughs> How many Flittle are in this set? At least two. Uh, Foy Coco, the guy, not a single thought going on in his head. Drowsy. Nimona. We've pulled uh, all three rivals now, I'm pretty sure. Defiance Band, Drifloom. Nest Ball, underrated Pokeball if you ask me. Reverse Rotom, Reverse Watrol. I wonder if we can double up on the same reverse. And we have Professor's Research with Professor Turo. I can't believe they did a Chad meme edit of this on the official Pokemon TCG Twitter, but they did. They didn't have the song and people immediately recognized it and edited it in. It was crazy. Fighting, fighting, it's not fighting, it's fire. 
Okay. Um, Clauncher. Dolive. Quatchley. Ponyard. Quaxwell. Cyclazar. Toadscrawl. It's a pretty crazy looking location. I can't tell if it's like underwater or in deep in an enchanted forest. It's definitely not underwater. <laughs> Go knowing what Toad Scrolls all about, Mankey. We got that Magnemite in reverse. We completed the whole Quaxley line in one pack. Uh, since I already have a shiny Quackwavolt, this is definitely not the pack I'll be shiny hunting. Imagine being like me, who's like not going for a living dex or anything, and having to hatch three starters like that. Crazy. We have an Ultra Miscut code card here. Um, hope you get some good Ultra Miscut digital cards. We have a fighting energy, it's leaf. Darn. <laughs> I will not guess it correct. I'm gonna just like lock in fighting energy. I'll eventually be right. It's a viper. It's Pathra. Arvin. Cacturn. Dondozo. We got that as a hollow earlier. Meowscarada. And cloth. Cloth once again. Alright, I'm feeling good about a fighting energy in this pack. Oh yeah. I got it right. I have so much skill in guessing. Casa Kid. Potion. Never seen it from that angle before. I wonder if we'll get every possible view of the potion from every angle as the years go by. Stone Journer. Penny. Reverse Curlia. Reverse Dolive. Rev of Room. Car. I imagine, like, as you, like, move this card, it kind of revs up, like, vroom, 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 vroom. Imagine just hearing some crazy engine sounds out your window and not knowing if it's rev of room or some cars going by. Pokemon World's got to be crazy. Metal Energy. No, it's dark. Crushing Hammer. Like, I crushingly didn't guess that energy correctly. Uh, Flittle. The Red Shooting Shroomish. Hey, we got a mouse hold. Family of four. The guys, Vitality Band, Toxtricity, Reverse Energy Retrieval, Reverse Energy Search, Miraidon. Next pack. Not Steel. All right, we got LeChonk. Sniff in the puddle. Flabe Bay. It's a good Growlithe. Staravia. Wow. That's an incredible Staravia. Actually, I like that. Looks right out of a movie. That's a good Pachirisu, too. Looks very powerful. Picnic Basket. Bombardier. Dude, that's cool. Miraidon. Mareep. Cyclazar. A different Cyclazar. Some very pretty art. They've really uh, got some beautiful illustrations in this set. I still don't know how I feel about the landmarks of Paldea as a region as a whole yet. Like, I don't know how memorable the region itself is going to be to me in my mind from years to come. I'll, I'm sure I'll have, like, a good idea of the map and stuff, but, like, I don't know if too many places stand out to me as, like, you know, just an iconic route or area there, other than, like, Area Zero, maybe a couple towns like Cascarafa. It's going to be interesting to see how it uh, ages over the years, especially after the DLC drops. Potion? Pokeball? Classic. Palmot, the fully evolved guy. With how dark the hollow is here, it almost looks like it's like shooting vines instead of electricity. Strange uh, grass terra type Palmot or something. Oh yeah, speaking of terra types, there are the terrestrialized Pokemon in these boxes, potentially. Would love to uh, potentially pull one of those. I think they're also like really sick full arts. I'll have to see what the pull rates are like for that. Man, that Magikarp and Magnemite back-to-back. -back, some beautiful art. I hope that artist does more soon. Defiance Ban, Reverse Katie, the Bug Lady. Smoliv, and we have an Iron Treads EX. So cool seeing the Paradoxes in action now. I've been enjoying kind of just grabbing these packs in a random order because I have no idea if this box is mapped or not. I haven't been paying attention to what side I've been grabbing each pack from. I've just been going through it. Got a really nice Ralts in front of the Academy. That dome area that we still haven't used. I hope maybe in the DLC or something we'll go to that dome. Growlithe. 
Shuff it. Tandem Mouse. Ah! Toxbun. That's cute. Uh, Tatsugiri. Judging me. Scovillain. Vivian. That's not the fancy pattern. Interesting. Lechonk. And Sada. Next pack. Ralts again. Tandem Mouse. Not screaming this time. They're quiet. The Poke Gear 3.0. The upgraded version. The DS version. Heart Gold Soul Silver. What? <laughs> Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes confirmed. Floet. Hypno. I wonder if it created a crop circle right there. The Beach Court. Nimona's House. Uh, Sandaconda. Reverse Penny. Reverse Rev of Room. And Skeledurge, my starter of choice. Strange seeing it on uh, two feet there instead of all fours. That's kind of nuts. I guess if the other starters are doing it, it's got to do it too. Hey, there's a Metal Energy. Next, I'm hoping for a Psychic Energy. All right, Zangoose, Krogonk, Dedenne, Curlia, Toad's Cruel, Cyclozar. Vitality Band. Reverse Basket. Oops, that is not the reverse. Oh, hey, there's a not-so-basic energy right there. Secret Rare. Look at that, we got the Triple Star Rarity, too. I remember the Triple Star Rarity is what they put the Shining Pokemon as back in Gen 2. Actually, it has the Gold Border, too. Really makes that Gold Border feel special now. That is nuts. What a crazy energy. And Annihilate. That's a real Pokemon now too, isn't it? I kind of wish this was in the energy slot. I definitely wouldn't um, be checking the energy at the start of every pack if those could be the gold ones. Crazy. Man Key, the man with the key. Charcadet. Caps of Kid. Croc of Lore. Mook. Florges. Meditate. That's stuck. Oh, ho, ho! no way. We got the Miriam. No way I got both Miriams. Look, she's like spark. There's like sparkling effect here. That is insane, dude. Oh my gosh. I knew the art for this card was incredible, but I wasn't expecting this whole effect on the card too. Let me, uh, let me get a good zoom here. Wow, dude, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm sleeving that right away. And at the end, Meow Skirata, sorry. Uh, your magic trick is not as cool as this. I can't believe I pulled both Miriams. I mean, at this rate, <laughs> I think I need the regular Miriam now to, to have all three. I feel like that's the, the easiest one to get. Pommy, Smoliv, Wiglet, Grievard. These are like the pre-release ones that they uh, showed off in the trailers. Okay, they didn't show Katie in the early trailers. Star Raptor, Electric Generator, Reverse Tropius. Dude, check it out. It's you. Reverse Zangoose. And an EX, Great Tusk. We got both Tusk and Treads in this box. Very nice. I definitely prefer Great Tusk to Iron Treads, I'll say that. Electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. All right. Energy switch. Varum. I actually did not see what it was at the back of the pack, but you might have gotten a glimpse of it there. Uh, Drift Blim. Nest Ball. Pachirisu. Toad's Cruel. Starly. It's a whole group of them. A whole flock. It's really been the year of Starly this past year, with all the Sinnoh remakes and now Scarlet and Violet. Good for Starly and Cyclozar. Boom. Not Psychic. All right, start now with a Nintendo Switch. You know, the click sound. Uh, Foycoco, there's a Tropius, right? Non um, reverse version of it. Tox, Mouse, Croc, Palm, Okay, it doesn't look like it's shooting vines anymore. Uh, Squivet, Klefki. 
not psychic. Just like I am clearly not psychic for, for guessing I would pull a psychic energy next. Lechonk, Slowpoke, Greedent, Vivian, Doxpin, Reverse Crocolore, Reverse Quackwaval, Palmot. Honestly, I don't mind duping up on these hollows. Not having regular rares anymore is crazy. It feels like one of those special sets, like uh, the Celebration set. Oh, that's a cool Charcadet. I like that more than the other R4, honestly. Lechonk, Picnic, Bombardier. I want to get that Bombardier as a reverse. Hypno, Reverse Lechonk, Reverse Toxtricity. Turo. I feel like in an alternate universe, Professor Turo has a churro stand called Turo's Churros. Just really works with his name. All right, we got Mastiff. There are churro stands in the Paldea region. It really could be an, another way of life for him to consider instead of messing up the world. I bet he could make some crazy scien scientific churros. The Judge. Never seen this man in my life. Uh, Float Soul. Reverse Energy Switch. Reverse Go Goat. Arbaliva. As for Sada, I don't know what rhyme. I'm not, I can't really think of a good rhyme right now for her. I don't know what kind of business she should open. The Pal Pad. <laughs> What's up with these Gen 4 key items randomly showing up? Johto remakes confirmed. Like what? Okay, Florgis, Muck, Vivian. I do enjoy them bringing in stuff from like all the older games though. They tend to do that a lot in the TCG. Tarantula, Armor Rouge. <laughs> Look at that oven mitt. Psychic energy. Thank you, have a nice day. Uh, Starly, Terrence the Tarantula, Watchroll, Crocorock. Man, this entire line is just chilling in these card arts. I f good for them. Some happy little Crocs. Sandaconda doesn't look as happy. Hopefully you find some good rest soon. Katie, reverse Wiglet. Dig a little, you know, live a little. Uh, Grievard, Annihilate. Just to get a little taste of everything the Scarlet Violet TCG has to offer, I would love to get a uh, Terrastalized Pokemon in one of these last two packs. But if not, I guess it can be something to look forward to with the next box that I'll be opening soon. This has been a very exciting set so far, though. Pretty fun to try and pull everything in reverse, too. It feels a lot more feasible now that we get two reverses in each pack, unless you get something crazy. There's the Pokegear. Skeledurge. Final pack. And then out of everything, we'll decide... Still no Psychic Energy. We'll decide which pack I'll be shiny hunting. Bruxish! Didn't know it was in the set. I love Bruxish. It's a happy Cacnea. There's the regular Miriam. On the last pack, we finally got the uh, the rarest Miriam in the set. Clearly. Lucario. Oops. Uh, Rock Chest Plate. Spupa Reverse. No gallery card on the last pack. Let's see what the last card is. Halucha. So no Terrastal card this pa this uh, box, but I cannot complain about what I've gotten so far. Look at this. We've got quite a few EXs, the Secret Rare Energy, this incredible Miriam, uh, Ralts, Coridon EX, Full Art, this Miriam too. Absolutely nutty first box. So many hollows too. I'm going to have to sleeve these all up. It's going to be a process. But man... I am loving this so far.